senior night here at Conti Forum, and uh, uh, you know Notre Dame came in and they they played a, actually a really really solid basketball game. They absolutely imposed their will on us in the paint. Um, they used their size advantage at, at multiple positions, and I thought our kids fought hard. I really did. Um, you know, we obviously we, that was not a surprise. We were we were expecting that, um, and I thought we did a good job for stretches. But we, you know, hurt us a little bit on the offensive boards. Uh, their point in the points in the paint numbers are unbelievable. Uh, and again, to that to their coaching staff's credit, to their players' credit, um, they used their size advantages really really well. And uh, you know, we did we did everything we could to mitigate that. Uh, but Notre Dame, you know, had answers every time we had an answer. Um, you know the the other the other game turner was uh, you know when when we turned the ball over. Uh, I thought we did a good job of taking care of the ball for for most of that game, and there was a stretch there in the second half where they went and their aggressiveness got to us, and they got three runouts, and uh, and that just that really just kind of changed the, the the tone of the game. To our credit, kids' credit, they fought the entire game. They really did, and and I was proud of the effort. I was proud to coach them today. Uh, senior night, we had we had four seniors. You know, three of them, uh, Katie Quant, Rachel Gartner, and Martina Mosetti. Um, you know, they may not be our star players, but but they have made a huge, huge difference in this program over the last four years in changing the culture um, of how we work, how we treat each other, uh, just you know our leadership and this young group of talent. Um, you know, remember our five leading scorers are freshmen and sophomores. There are three sophomores and two freshmen, and they are getting the benefit of having those seniors mentor them from a mental, emotional state, physically, how do we work? How do we how do we treat each other? Um, and then our fourth senior, Andy Anastas, you know, came to us from the hockey team, and she brought us an unbelievable level of leadership, championship culture, and again, she infused uh, just a, 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 again another whole level of of all that into our team. And uh, so again, I'm really really proud to have coached them. I thought uh, you know all of them, all four of them, earned a start today, and I thought they stepped up really really well. Uh, Katie Quant uh, again established her presence in the paint. Uh, Andy does what she normally does. Rachel, I thought, really stepped up and, and gave us some good minutes. And again, uh, really, really proud of them. Coach, you know, in the first half, Taylor Ortlip had a lot of success and there was some room to exploit the three-point shot. What did you think they did in the second half to prevent her from maybe getting quite as many opportunities? Yeah, so, you know, look, we're hard to guard too, um, you know, and, and they have to make choices. So, you know, we do have lots of different weapons, right? You know, Milan Bolden Morris has been our leading scorer, and so they were doing a nice job on her, and Taylor got some open looks. Um, and so Taylor knocked him down. Well, then they decided to go make some changes. I mean, Muffet's a Hall of Fame coach for a reason. Uh, she made good adjustments, and she made Taylor have to earn her points in the second half, which Taylor did, to, to her credit. She drove, she kicked, um, she took the shots when they were open. Um, but again, a lot of it is just taking what the defense gives you, and, and uh, uh, you know, Muffet made some really, really good uh, adjustments over there. But Taylor kept battling, and I thought our team did a nice job of finding the open player whenever they could. It's obviously a really difficult week when you get Louisville and Notre Dame back-to-back -back in the schedule. What did you like? about score aside what did you like about the response from your team coming out of Louisville on Thursday and the way they played today yeah you know look welcome to life in the ACC right you get the number four team in the country on Thursday you turn around and get the number five team in the country on uh, on Sunday uh, but this is what we signed up for this is what we love I mean this is this is exactly why I'm at Boston College is why these kids came to Boston College you know and we just got a growth and you know these young players are going to have to continue to mature so that we can get to the level where we can compete uh, on the scoreboard as well but again we, we look at it possession by possession um, you know, I, my guess is when I watch this tape tonight that I'll, I will see a lot more consistency of effort. I thought when Louisville w came back on us after we had a lead, I thought our effort waned in the second half. And um, I, I felt like our team, although our execution was clearly not perfect, um, I thought our effort and our, our toughness, um, you know, shined through in a lot of plays. Sydney Lowry here, you mentioned to us going into this week that she felt like she was finally healthy, and you've really seen some of the little things she's done defensively and grabbing rebounds over the last couple of games. What have you liked about her as you kind of look at the whole arc of her freshman season? Sure. So Sid was a player who came on like gangbusters early, and she hit a little bit of a freshman wall and then had a little bit of injury. So it's great to see her back healthy. And what you saw is she's just finally understanding that she works so hard. She plays hard. She's athletic. She's explosive. And she's starting to be able to use those things. Um, you still see the mistakes you still see the freshman mistakes you know she's driving into traffic and that's a play that she's going to be able to learn how to jump stop and be able to kick instead of drawing the charge um, but I still want her to attack she brings a ton of energy to our team she's got a great attitude at no point is she you know quitting or pouting uh, even though you know like a lot of freshmen that that season had its ups and downs for uh, but I think she's coming on at the right time uh, we've got we've got a big road trip left we're about to go to Florida State and Syracuse uh, and then we're going to go attack the ACC tournament and this group is you know by no means done playing this was a lot our last game here at Forum, and it's obviously sad to say goodbye to you know the home fans and all that. But we got a lot of great basketball ahead of us, um, a lot of great opponents, and, and we're excited to get back at it.